I thought I'd give some insight into how the cover for my album came about, Chemistry Lessons Volume 1. It's no secret that an influence for, for me and for the album was the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. And not just in terms of the audio, but the, uh, the cover as well. Back in the 60s, they used to do these sound effects records. Sound effects. And this is volume one. Uh, had these squares with graphics of traffic and transport, babies, people, all sorts. Uh, and they did a whole series of these. And they kept the format the same and just changed the colours and the volume number. But they also did other albums as well that weren't sound effects that they based the covers on this. And this is um, a French language album they did to accompany a TV series. Suivez La Piste, uh, follow up your French 25 episode thriller. But I like this, this arrangement, I like the font. So I thought maybe I could adapt that for my own cover in some way. Um, not really ripping it off, it's just an inspiration for my cover. So I, uh, this was the first attempt where I had these blocks. Uh, and I didn't have photos in every block, I just had photos in some blocks. I like the idea of little blocks of colour amongst the photos. Um, the photos are all my own, from my own collection. I just sort of almost randomly selected them from my archive. Some, I mean, I had hundreds and some worked better than others. And these are some of the final images that appeared on the, the album. Yeah, and then I colorized each one and have made this sort of grid pattern and, and a mask for that. This is all in Photoshop. That's why I did the preliminary design in Photoshop. And then I tried different colours for the uh, for the background. This is a green, and I settled on blue eventually. This is actually the gatefold on the inside. Um, actually, this has some photos that aren't mine. A couple here that were from sixties decor magazines, uh, and I've manipulated them slightly. So this is as the, the album opens up, you get this gatefold effect. But uh, yeah, that's the first design. And then that's the final design. I originally I had the whole title here, but I, I quite like it with just CCCL volume one. So there, there probably will be a volume two. And actually here is the final vinyl. There's the gatefold and the rear, which is also based partly on the way the BBC used to lay out their rear covers as well. Um, but what we did actually on the final vinyl, that we used a thing called spot varnish, where the blue colour is varnished, but the boxes are left unvarnished, so they give this matte appearance. Looks great. I love it. And the vinyl we've done in grey, different shades of grey. Looks good, doesn't it? There you go.